All right, so we're gonna get started on the top. Uh, I got some some fiberglass from Evercoat, uh, sea glass, fiberglass mat, and I got SMC fiberglass resin. This is the the correct stuff to fix this kind of, of repair. So what I'm gonna do is grind out the inside of the crack and see if I can't clean it up and get it to fit together nicely. Uh, and then I'm gonna sand the outside so that we have a place to lay the glass and try to get on the inside and see what we can do on that. Um, so let me get started. All right, so this, this is the repair we're gonna start on. Uh, I, I've got a Dremel tool. I think I'm gonna come in and, and clean this out, get it to fit around better. You know, because this should be underneath this. So clean that out. See if I can't get it a nice tight fit. And uh, it, it we'll see what happens. I mean, you can squeeze it together and it lines up fairly decent. So I, I think I think this will be an easy, easy one. All right, when working with fiberglass, you want some some type of respirator. Okay, so we're mixing up this resin um, with the hardener and whatnot in it. Um, it. Says it has a cure time of about 30 minutes, so that'll give us a little bit of time to to get this to to get it in place and get it where we want it. That way. It can be a little easier to to body work it, you know. Once once we get it where we like it. So here's the glass mat that we've I've trimmed it off that that sheet. So you want to soak it in the the resin. All right, so you can see a repair here. Um, there's a little resin that, that leaked out, which is fine. We'll get it sanded down and filled back in. Um, so all I did was glass the inside to make it flush so that it's held in place. I mean, it's, it's stout. It's not going anywhere at this point. Um, so now what I can do is let it harden up some more and then clean out this little bit of resin that I have here and here. Um, that way I'm going to use this SMC panel adhesive um, and I'm going to go in and fill this crack and this crack and these cracks with it and then fill this in with it and then fill this crack in with it. But if I wait for this back here to dry, then I can do it all at one time and not have to mix up multiple batches of it. And I think, so coming back over here to the other side, I think I'm gonna end up doing the same thing here. Um, grind this out, grind that out, and then just pull it back in flush and then use the panel bond I have and, and just squeeze it back in and then just fill it in. Um, that's probably gonna be the same I do for these big scratches that are here and probably here because those are, well, that one's kind of soft. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. 
but I think I can fill that back in. Um, I'm not sure right here there's some pieces that are broke off. Um, I may tape something here and have it just kind of roll up. That way I can put glass and resin on it, but put something on there that it won't stick to. Um, that way I can just build it back up and then sand it back smooth on both sides and that'll be good. And it's broken on this side too. I mean, it's, this one might be salvageable with just that panel adhesive because this is non-structural, so it shouldn't be too bad. So y'all y'all seen the, the start of it. Hopefully it, it comes out decent enough to where it, it doesn't matter anymore, you know, because it, it was free and if I bang it on rocks, it, it is what it is. So we're all learning as we go. All right, so y'all saw the rain, the clouds and stuff. So I moved the stuff into my garage. Um, I put the panel adhesive filler um, for SMC fiberglass panels. It's kind of like, like a Bondo. Um, so that's what I used. That's what I used to fill in the crack, uh, and the, the crack here, and it kind of goes up into there. Um, I need to add a little bit here and fill in here. There's a couple of low spots, but it's it's coming out better than what I thought it would. So I'm going to continue on with it. Um, I'm going to put another another small coat of that. VPA vet panel adhesive um, to fill in the, the few little voids that are here and then I'm going to move on to some other stuff but that's all that I'm going to do with this corner for right now um, when I do the body work the entire top is going to get sanded down to probably 180 grit and then we'll prime it more than likely high build prime it and then coat it with something um it may end up with just a cheap paint a cheap base clear paint or a bed liner or something um i i've always wanted a hard top i've never had one when i bought the jeep i got now i swore i was going to buy a hard top automatic and it's a soft top stick so this was a way to get me a hard top, at least to see if I like it. Um, let's me play around with it. I'm hoping that the hard top is quieter than the soft top. And I can put, you know, lizard skin on the inside to make it cooler so the air conditioner doesn't work as hard and all that other BS that goes with it. So y'all follow along as we're as I'm doing this. Um, I'll I'll keep plugging along at it and making some videos as we go along and fix each piece and go from there um hopefully this doesn't take too long you know i can knock it out hour or two a night and get done with it and then put it on the jeep and see how i like it and then do the stuff that i want like the lizard skin and whatnot i've already found the glass for it i just got to go get it so it's going to be a cheap hardtop